Hello, my name is Howard, and today we are attacking a machine from Bounhub. This machine is supposed to teach us the basics of ethical hacking. In particular, we're going to learn about enumeration and how to use some tools to look for information from a system. It's called Four, and you can download it from Virtual VirtualBox. Let's use this as an opportunity to learn how to use the tools. So my machine is sitting on one two one six eight thirty eight. Dot one dot ninety eight ninety one. So I always start with a ping to make sure that it's responding, and after that we do a quick end map minus sv minus sc one and two dot one six eight dot thirty eight dot ninety one. This will enumerate the top one thousand ports from the site. All right. So after a minute, you notice that our end map finished, and right away we see that we've put twenty two. Port 8 is open. It looks like it's running CMS made simple. And we have robots.txt here. So we need to look at that. We also have other ports here, like Samba and everything. But right away, we start with port 80. Was um, SSH is not going to give us anything in most cases. So we see port 80 open. We can go and open the port. So right away, you notice that we get a website. It's called CMS made simple. This we have exploited on this site uh, before. You might have seen some of my videos on CMS Made Simple. So we can read through this to see what's going on there. We also have this house cleaning. It was posted by QIU. So that's a potential user that we can uh, find on this site. So we should keep that in mind. It actually says stop polluting web root with all sorts of test scripts. So maybe there's some scripts that are being tested here. If you look around PHP classes, so there's a chance this is going to be a PHP type of site. And more comments here. Okay, CSP made simple. Here's a version for CSP made simple. Type it in Google, CMC made simple 2.5 then exploit. Let's see if there's an exploit for that particular version of. Here's a cross-site scripting. Okay, so this one doesn't really help us much. SQL injection, if we had a form, I don't see any form or any place really. So this looks like a rabbit hole, okay? But you can always uh, figure out that it may not lead to anywhere by looking at some of the exploits, but you do have a version here. And that's something to use. For now, let's just run GoBuster on this thing. And to do that, we we'll just do GoBuster dir 38091. Let's place five extensions as PHP, since this site is written in PHP. I will only specify extensions for now, so that it's faster. Otherwise, you still need to do everything. Uh, in this case, I saw a uh, test on PHP. According to our website here, if we were paying attention, there was a post about not, not posting test site, right? So this one here is sort of like a hint that talks about test scripts, and here is a test.php. So that's interesting. We also have a config.php, which you want to check out right away. So what I'll do is I'll say config, PHP could there be that down to expose a config file you will be surprised but we don't have anything here so let's put test.php all right so this is missing a get parameter this is a hint as well if you see something like this what does this mean you should send this as a get so it's test.php question mark something equals to file or equals to something here so we need to to test we need to fuzz this what is this something and could this mean something like dot 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 etsy pass wd so we need to find out what is it called here uh, there is 
WFAS documentation. I like this blog post here. Is it, this one is really nice. Um, it shows you how to use WFAS as a brute forcer. It's really, really uh, detailed. But here's the command that we would do to, to fuzz this something here. So I get an error, but that doesn't matter. So it's wfuzz, then you give it the URL that you want to fuzz up to here. You need to put the keyword fuzz equals to, in this case, I'm still going for Etsy password. This whole thing is in quotes. Then I'm using the user share sec list directory common.txt. There is actual fuzz word list out there. I just chose common to text because sometimes it works. And the reason why you put results to a file is because they are long. So for example, if I do a cat results.txt, this is these are the fuzzing results here. They will all have the same like uh, eight character. In this case, we have 80 character. So if any parameter succeeded, it will have a different length. But of course, this is a really big file. So what do we do? We can do a, something like this. Cat results to a text, then pipe it to grab. If you do a minus V, this is the negative what we don't want. We don't want to see the 80. Remember every line is 80. We only want to see the results that don't have 80. And the one, ones that, that did not have 80 is this uh, 1633 and the payload was file move something to file can we see etsy password to, for a local file inclusion and yes we do have local file inclusion and let's search for bash so we have a user qiu with bin bash so that means this user has a home directory so we need to go to this user's home directory, this one. So instead of Etsy password, then uh, users usually have .ssh, that's where we keep SSH keys, and id underscore rsa, that's the SSH private key. And as you can see, this one is kind of malformed. If it here, let's view the page source and see if maybe we see it in a different format. Now this is better. So from page source, we can copy the nicer format. All right. One, insert, then paste the key. That looks better. Mode 700. ID underscore RC. So now that we fixed the key, let's try to see if we can sign in. All right, so it works this time. So if you if the format doesn't work, you can always um, get it in source. So once we get in here, sudo minus L right away, we see that it doesn't work. All right, so now clear the screen. Let's look for uh, SUID binaries. Actually, before we do that, ls minus la, what's in here? So this is the .ssh that we were looking for. We have a local .txt, a low privilege shell. Okay, we know that we have a low privilege shell. So with bash history, you always want to check that. Sometimes you don't find anything there, but sometimes you do because people are not that smart. And if it say cat, oh, this looks like we actually have, is this a password? Echo pseudo dem, oh yeah. This looks like a password. Okay. I guess we do it again. Pseudo minus L. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, I guess <laughs> this is it, sudo su, and we are root. So now we can just go 
and do an ls cat roof dot text and cat remarks and there we go we have it we root rooted another digital world machine and this was very easy so thank you for being here otherwise uh, this was a nice refresher this is not anywhere close to what you will see in the oscp but this is good for practice gaining those skills for enumeration and thinking fast so if you like this type subscribe like otherwise i'll see you next time thank you